So when you think of history, uh, HBCUs are part of not only black history, but they're part of the history of our world, of our country. There was a time when blacks did not have a, a place to go to get a, a higher education degree or to even attain those kinds of classes that would help them get to that level. So HBCUs opened that door and allowed for persons of color to come in, matriculate, and then go out and make their mark on the world. So it is black history, but HBCU is American history as well. That story can be told and help to really drive home the point to many who may not know just the impact of our history on American culture and the world. Yeah. HBCUs are key to the American story for black people, for sure. They were the pathway after the Jim Crow laws in 1964. They were the keys that opened the door for more black people. They had already begun before 1964, but they were really tremendously impactful in how they brought life and vitality and clarity to the black experience. It's really important for black people to hear from black people, to hear from an institution that focuses on black history in a way that's clear and specific, and that's exactly what HBCUs do. They know the history. They've lived the history. They've experienced it. It's all about the dollar. For some people, that is the reason why they don't go to school. The difference between a black income and a white income in America is huge. They're eight times higher in net worth than the average black person. And that, that fleshes out to be big dollars, $22,000 in net worth for a black person compared to 188000 for a white person by one study. So the important thing that low tuition does is it opens the doorway and makes it uh, an opportunity that a black person can experience. And that is a great gift because of HBCUs. They're in the highest places in government. They're in the highest places in America, all because, all because, and Kamala Harris is an example of that, all because of HBCUs. HBCUs make a difference in the world, and we cannot be afraid to embrace that reality. They will change the narrative in the workplace and in America. It taught me to survive. It taught me how to live, and it taught me how to just get through life. Yeah, uh, when I went to high school, I went to predominantly white high school. I didn't know anything too much about black history. I mean, I knew the basics, but they didn't really go into detail, of course, you know why. So when I went to you, like, they taught me everything I needed to know about our black history and what it means to attend an HBCU. Uh, an HBCU experience is something that I can't explain. You have to be there. Um, and it's something I would never, you know, change. And that's why uh, I believe in continuing on legacy with HBCUs. Man, you got doctors, lawyers, athletes, photographers, videographers, you know, anything you can think of. They're there, HBCU. Uh, gosh, it's so many of them, but I would say uh, the lack of education. You know, uh, trying to compare uh, degrees from HBCU per PWI. I mean, they may have different courses, but at the same time, like the degrees are way the same. Um, also, I would say about the environment of HBCUs, uh, these party schools and things of that nature. I know plenty of. PWIs uh, that, that are party schools, so the misconception of that, and also living facilities, also another misconception. Um, I think it's super important to get more students to attend HBCUs. Um, I mean, for me, speaking of my experience as a student at, at an HBCU, I learned who I was. Um, I definitely had some ignorant thoughts coming in to an HBCU space. Um, but actually being there, it kind of, it changed my entire perspective on life, honestly. I graduated from an HBCU. I honestly would like to think that I started my career in higher education, working on a college campus as a college student. So there's people who are going to have their opinions about you regardless, um, whether you attend a PWI HBCU, people just going to have opinions. Um, but I definitely had some opinions where from friends and people that I know that attended PWIs where they felt like my degree wasn't the same as theirs or my GPA wasn't the same as theirs, although it was higher because I attended an HBC. Oh, your classes aren't, you know, you, you're, you're not getting the same classwork that I'm getting. You're not getting the same challenges that I'm, I'm facing. And I just feel like you can't necessarily say that because you don't know what my experience is, only I do. HBCUs, again, have been essential to the economies for any place that they've located in.
and that be it the private schools or the public schools that again we know from the very people who work at those hbcus their dollars are being spent in those economies in those areas the money's coming in the contracts that people that when they're doing services for hbcus again that's money that is helping the economies but then also we look at with regards to the people who now graduate from hbcus they now become citizens of this nation and around globally and they are de- and they are they are casting monies into the economy also they have salaries they have family they are doing the same thing so again they are absolutely essential to us but then also these geniuses who are graduating from the hbcus now help to further advance our economy and our entire system that is again from all from technology to the sciences with regards to business with regards to the social dynamics with regards to politics all that comes into play so HBCUs are essential. And with regards to the military, we look at that component right there. And that is a major part of our economy, the HBCU. But HBCUs in general, given a, ca- a casting out the people, again, the great benefits of anyone being to the HBCU and getting a foundation there. Because each one of our schools provide a foundation. And so with regards to that, it is important for public figures who have gone to HBCUs to go and tout it. But then also those people who are alums of those schools, but then also public figures who may not go to HBCU, but I'm sure there's someone in their environment, in their orbit, in their atmosphere, in their life, has gone to HBCU, HBCU that has been, played a benefit or been a benefit to their life. I tell folks, your greatness is never achieved by yourself. Others help you achieve, to achieve greatness. And look at HBCUs. We do not get the majority of African-American students coming to our schools. But guess what? We're doing a yeoman's job with regards to graduating our people. So our people didn't go out there. They're the ones going on to graduate schools. So they are in these positions throughout this entire country. So public figures have been touched by HBCUs by the very people that's in their atmosphere, in their orbits. So again, it's important to talk about it because that has been the melting pot for us with regards to success, with regards to this nation, with regards to those public figures also. If all HBC, if we have no HBCUs, what's going to happen? You're going to lose a part of the genius of this nation. You're going to lose a part of the skill sets of this nation. The intellectual properties, the assets of this nation will be lost, will be depleted if we do not have HBCUs. Again, what happened for many of us that we sometimes have not been able to get into other schools based on the criteria that they may have. And they may say someone comes from a background that is not uh, uh, adequate with regards to them now attending that particular institution. But guess what? They come to an HBCU, and HBCU, if that person, again, if their background is a little low, they bring them up to a level that they can stand against anyone. Because I've seen, I've had that experience with regards to people who've gone seeing people from HBCUs, and they've gone and touted and said that your education is just as great as someone who's gone to an Ivy League school. So what happens is that if you don't have the HBCUs, you didn't lose all of that. And these people now have gone forward and had an impact on our society. So without HBCUs, we will be in the dark, this nation. 